Hi guys, this is Android5.com and I'm here with a bit of a premiere. The game is called Dark Guardians and guess what? I'm playing an Android game on the Blackberry Passport phone and the game was downloaded from the Amazon App Store priced at $2.39. This one is an endless runner, side-scrolling endless runner with four attack buttons. The background music is actually very nice and in order to slay the enemies in front of you, you have to time your sword attacks. We have four sword attacks, a regular sword, poison sword, fire sword and electrical sword and you have to use these elementals depending on the elements of the enemies ahead of you. You have a circle in front of you which signals the area where you can hit the enemies. You have to do that in a certain rhythm and with certain timing and just like all the endless runners side scrollers the aim is to get as many meters as possible. Of course, every hit you take drops your hit points, so be careful about that. You can also collect hearts and you can also activate this Dark Horse power. It's a meter that fills up as you progress and every 500 meters or so you will change background and enter a new area. As you can see, I'm using the 4.5 inch touchscreen of the Blackberry Passport and I'm about to get killed, one more hit and it's over. And that was that. After your run is done, you can buy um, extra perks like hitting further, like beginning the run further or uh, starting with more life. So that's basically the gameplay in a nutshell. Of course, rating the game, uh, sending stuff via Facebook or Twitter will give you extra credits and those credits will buy you upgrades. So we have four buttons, one for regular attack, one for fire attack, one for lightning attack, one for poison attack, each of them associated to a special foe. Enemies include a sort of uh, goats, wolves, crows and other mythical creatures. I said sort of goats because they are a cross between a camel and a goat and I'm really getting pummeled here. You really have to pay attention to the screen while doing this. Once again this is the Blackberry Passport. It wasn't meant for Android but Android apps run on it. And if you think that the music is nice, it's a composition from Valentin Lafont. I hope I pronounced it okay. Uh, it's a combination of rock, dubstep, and even some medieval effects here and there. Be careful with your timing of the hits. The enemies must be in the circle in front of the character. And speaking of character, he has a huge broadsword that reminded me of the one used by Cloud Strife in Final Fantasy VII. So not working good at all and I'm talking about me here and the fact that I'm trying to kill the beasts and not succeeding. There's a slight gothic vibe and Samurai Jack vibe if you know the cartoon from Cartoon Network. Well that's the vibe you get here. It's a side scrolling endless runner with personality, nice music, four buttons to press, usually you only have to press one, jump and that's it, plus maybe an extra to shoot stuff. This time you have four buttons and sequences to trigger. You can also get perfects, which is a series of combos that increase your points. I would have liked more variation of the enemies, because there are basically three of them. There are the wolves, the ones I call goats, and the crows. Of course, if you proceed, you probably unlock, unlock new ones. And by the way, triggering the special dark horse will kill everything in front of you. And there is even a boss battle at some point, let's call it boss battle. It's basically a huge creature throwing uh, purple balls at you. And I'm about to die again. Not if I can help it. And I just missed, so let's go forward. I collected about 373 resources that I can spend on those upgrades. Now you can hear rock in the background. and wolves howling. And now dubstep. And a bit of drum and bass. And now the Dark Horse. 
I have to say that you can also find the game in the Play Store, don't worry, it's not only in the Amazon App Store, and as far as I know, it's also available on iOS. So, the game is called Dark Guardians, it's a bit overpriced at $2.39, it's not very easy to play, but it's pretty intuitive and fun. Be careful when playing it because the monsters that have the poison elemental are not exactly visible because the green that surrounds them is dark green and the whole graphics of the game is dark. So I would give this title a 7.5 out of 10. It's fun but it costs a lot and it doesn't have the friendliest gameplay in the world. By that I mean it has a high level of difficulty sometimes, sometimes it's very easy to play, it alternates randomly. However, I like the styling, I like the artwork. I like the music very much and the concept is pretty nice compared to the other endless runners out there. So from AndroidPipe.com, 7.5 out of 10. Bye bye.